First things first, go ahead and freeze all of your fruits that you're going to be using in the base part of your recipe. Go ahead and do that either a couple days before or get it in there overnight if you can. That was really hard rock and frozen. Um, that also make a thicker smoothie. And if you want that thicker smoothie, also, you know, add less liquid. So in this recipe, I'm using about a half cup of the coconut liquid, but you can even take that down further to about one fourth cup if you want your smoothie bowl a lot thicker. One fourth cup of coconut cream, just the cream. One half cup of the coconut milk liquid. Got some of our coconut protein powder. One scoop pea protein powder. You do want to use a lighter color protein powder, something like a vanilla. That way it doesn't change the blue in the blue spirulina once you mix everything together. And what I love about the pea protein is so silky and smooth and it's tasteless. Like it doesn't taste like beans or peas or anything like that. It's just a good powder like I actually just sometimes mix it in water and just drink it down with nothing in it just the water and the protein powder it doesn't have a bad taste or anything it's just so silky and smooth and if you look here you can see that it has a complete protein profile so it does have all the amino acids to be a complete protein three frozen bananas two teaspoons blue spirulina I got one slice of a pineapple because I want it mango but Stores are out of mangoes for some reason. The good thing about the blue spirulina, it's odorless and tasteless. So here I'm just adding the full three tablespoons of hemp seeds and that's going to give me an extra 10 grams of protein which is going to bring my total bowl to 30 grams of protein. So I forgot to add my coconut flakes. And this is just some organic unsweetened coconut flakes. So I love how crunchy the coconut flakes are and just the sweetness from the bananas and the blueberries are just so tangy it levels the sweetness out it just tastes so tropical I did stick it back in the freezer for a little bit and you hear that crunch from the coconut flakes mm. 